Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel today. Something a little bit interesting arrived in the post today and it's for the 650 Interceptor. The channel over there in England and the uh, guy over there was uh, doing a service for a friend of his name, Graham, I think he's some type of machinist or whatever it is and uh, he's making a preload, 6mm preload things here for the um, intercept. So if we swing them out, these are the items. And these are 6mm, like so. So I figured I was going to get the uh, adjustable type ones from Hitchcock's and uh, give them a bit of a workout. But I think these are going to be a lot more simpler because all you do is, we'll go out to the bike in a minute and I'll show you. And uh, these will be just more simple to do. I ride a lot of rough roads around here where apparently if you can fix up the preload a little bit on the front of these interceptors you won't get that clunky feeling when you go over that rough section of the bike and it'll handle that a bit better and it won't knock it around as much. What I plan on do first will be go out and do a test ride on one of the rough roads what I know around here which knocks the bike around because I haven't been on the interceptor now for close on maybe two months so it'll be a good test for me to be on the bike see what it's like after a couple of months break take it out on the worst one I can find where it is really a rough bumpy ride so ride that in stock form come back fit this unit or fit these pair of uh, spaces and then head back out and then ride over it and see if I notice much difference to it now on the plus side uh, the price is right they're only roughly including postage to Australia $50 for the pair so I think you can't knock that so if you look at it that way I think it'll uh, turn out pretty good so what we'll do now we'll go out to the bike and just have a look and uh, get that out of the way so we will see if we can give you a bit better look at them so they appear very well machined nice quality like I said good price then when you do a measurement They come in at 6mm. So we'll head off out to the bike now. There you are. Let's go to the bike. Okay guys, we're at the interceptor now, so it's a fairly easy fit as far or I'm led to believe it's a fairly easy fit. So I've just all I have to do is undo here. Get there and pull the top cap off drop this into the slot and it'll be faced upright like so and it'll go back inside facing up to the top cap like that and then down on top of the spring where there's a washer sitting on top of the spring and screw it back on and I can head back out along the road and test it so, so like I said first off I'll go out and run the bike in stock form and I've got a good section of road out there, just one that really knocks this one around something terrible, throws it around all over the place. So we'll go out on the, well I won't be going out on the 500, but I'll take the 650 out, run that section which is fairly rough and just see if I get the front end rattle and something which this bike carries on at times. And then after putting these spaces in, I'll be able to go back out, or preload spaces, I'll be able to go back out, try it out, see how it goes. And I won't fool around with this test, I'll knock this out of the way I think tomorrow, yeah, within the next 48 hours. So once this clip goes up, I should be able to get out and test this, have it all up within 48 hours as a result of this. So come back and take a look. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Take a look. I'll catch up with you later.